Hi, I'm Lisa and welcome to Flextricity's Control Room. Me and my colleague Andrew are here today to give you an overview of what demand side response is all about and how it can make a real difference for your business. In a nutshell, demand side response, or demand side flexibility as it's sometimes known, is where businesses are financially incentivised to reduce or increase their energy use to provide flexibility to national grid or distribution network operators. National grid has to keep the system balanced, matching electricity generation with demand every second of the day. This isn't an easy task because electricity consumers don't ask for permission when they turn on their kettle or TV or plug in their electric vehicle to charge. In addition, large fossil plants such as coal is being replaced by renewable energy, which are intermittent in their output. Wind turbines only generate when the wind is blowing. That's why the need for flexibility and demand side response is growing. It plays a huge part in enabling a cleaner, greener energy system as we strive for net zero. Flexitricity is a demand side response aggregator. This means we pool flexible capacity from different sites, including sites that are considered too small to participate on their own, into a virtual power plant. We then use this virtual power plant to provide services to national grid, distribution network operators, and trade your flexibility in the energy markets. We connect to our energy partners' assets either through an API or through installing a connection point, referred to as an outstation, at the site. We monitor the assets and the energy markets 24-7 from this control room in Edinburgh to pinpoint the best opportunities and then dispatch the assets as required. We always agree clear parameters and a strategy with our energy partners and ensure that core business operations are never disrupted. For example, let's say you're an energy manager for a cold storage site. Flexitricity would use the flexibility in your refrigeration assets to turn down the plant for a short period of time when National Grid needs to reduce demand on the system. This short period of slight temperature change doesn't impact the integrity of the frozen produce, but enables the site to earn revenue through demand side response services. There's a range of factors which determine the services your site is suitable for and how much you could earn. This includes the type and size of flexibility your site can offer and how quickly that flexibility is able to respond. On top of this, location is also important. The windy north of Scotland is quite different to a demand centre like London. It's important to emphasise that the characteristics of each site are different and ballpark revenue estimates that you might come across can be somewhat misleading. National grid services can be broadly divided into two categories, balancing services and the balancing mechanism. For balancing services, such as short-term operating reserve or for frequency response, you tender ahead of time and commit to deliver or be ready to deliver for the time period you're tendering for. The balancing mechanism, on the other hand, is a 24-7, 365 market that operates in real time. There are no forward commitments and you can make yourself available when it suits you. To underline that point, core site operations always come first, but the balancing mechanism allows you to price flexibility around those operations. For example, you could make a CHP available to start a little earlier than scheduled or stay on a little later, or turn off electrical load at a price that makes it worthwhile shifting that consumption to another time of day. Finally, it's important to remember that value is constantly shifting between flexibility markets. You want to make sure that your demand side response partner provides access to the entire suite of flexibility services and has the knowledge and expertise to maximise revenue from those markets. Flextricity has been working hard for years to allow a wide range of asset types and sizes to participate. The balancing mechanism used to be dominated by large energy suppliers and licensed generators until 2018 when Flextricity took the first behind the meter gas CHP into this market. Flexitricity continues to innovate, and in April 2020, we became the first participant to trade in the BM using the balancing mechanism wider access route to market with our energy partner, Philip Dennis Food Service. It's been exciting to see the market open up to different forms of flexibility as the UK strives to meet its goals for net zero. It means we now get to work with an even more diverse range of energy partners and earn revenue for all types of British businesses, from large battery storage projects to nationwide networks at EV charge points and domestic heat pumps. If your site can be flexible with its energy use or generation, participation in DSR is without a doubt worth considering. Earning revenue from being flexible with your electrical assets will reduce your overall energy costs, one of the biggest overheads for many businesses. It also gives you the chance to play a role in decarbonising our energy system and meet your company's environmental ambitions. 
flexibility from demand-side response will be an absolutely vital tool in enabling more renewables in the system, managing the electrification of heat and transport, and ultimately operating a zero carbon grid. Contact us today to find out more. The Flexitricity team is always happy to answer any questions and discuss what demand-side response can do for your business. Thank you for watching.